Hi all and welcome to another episode of Reviewed on Dante TV. In today's episode we'll be talking about the white balance cap and how it can potentially affect your photos. So what is white balance? White balance or color balance changes the overall mixture of colors in an image and is used for color correction to make your images and videos look more natural and appealing. So all digital cameras come with some sort of white balance gauge to help the sensor to decide what colors to output. It does sound a little bit confusing but most of you guys don't even need to play around with this type of option as all digital cameras come with an auto white balance. Usually it results in good skin tones and surroundings but but due to some unforeseen reasons, the colors can turn out quite washed out or not good at all. Not correct at all, I mean. There are many ways around this. If you have a DSLR, shoot in RAW and then edit your images losslessly in a post-production software such as Lightroom. This can also be done with any image from any digital camera, but quality may be lost in the process. So the white balance cap is an option for DSLR users. It's quick, simple and best of all it's cheap. I decided to buy it as it just cost me 4 Australian dollars. All you have to do is find out the diameter of your biggest lens or the lens you use the most and just eBay one yourself. You can use it instead of your original lens cap so that's a great option. Okay, so I'm going to show you what the set of Dante TV looks like with auto white balance on. Ta-da! The colors are not very pleasing. This is because my camera sensor thinks that the image is overly red, so it tries to counteract that by increasing the blue levels and everything seems quite blue. What you have to do with your white balance cap in most situations is grab your camera, switch it over to manual focus, and then move to the spot that you want to take the photo of and take that photo facing the direction where you'll be standing. Confusing? Yes it is, but this is because the white balance is usually affected by the lights around the object of focus. But what you have to do is use a little bit of common sense. In this situation, because my backdrop is really red, you instead have to face the white balance cap towards the red backdrop and take a picture. All DSLRs should have this setting or quite similar but for Canons, once you've taken the picture the next thing you have to do is actually go into the menu and select custom white balance and use that picture you just took for the reference. Now switch your white balance over to custom white balance and you're done, ready to take your photos or videos. Okay so here are some photos I took when I went to a couple of bars trying out the white balance cap. So what do you think of it? It takes a bit of getting used to, but it works. And it's just a quick and easy way to get great photos without post-production. Have you guys tried it before? Please let me know what you think down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I don't buy it. I'm quite easy to get along with. So that's all for today's episode, and I'll see you guys soon. Please subscribe. In today's episode, we'll be talking about the white balance cap and how it can potentially affect your photos. <sighs> that wasn't very good.